Good evening. Um, we're, I'm, we're blessed to be with you tonight. Um, this is Wednesday Power Service. Hallelujah. And um, we're just going to get right into it. But before we do, I wanted us to please everybody just raise your hands and just worship the Lord. And Father, we thank you and we worship you and we glorify you. We honor you, Lord, in this house, in our homes, Lord God. And we thank you. We praise your holy name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome. Hi. Aloha to all of our church family. We miss you. We can't wait to be with you. And we know that it's soon. Hallelujah. That we're going to be able to get together again. Um, we're thankful to be in the Lord's house tonight. We're thankful to be in your home this evening. We're thankful to the Lord for this sanctuary, for this ministry and church. We're thankful to the Lord and grateful for all that he has done. Hallelujah. We're going to get right into it tonight. Um, and I don't know, for some reason I'm more nervous today than I am normally. Um, but I know that God is going to do a good work in us in your homes, in our homes, hallelujah, in our lives, in our families, hallelujah. Where tonight, the message is the goodness of God, hallelujah. I know you know what I'm talking about. I know some of you know what I'm talking about, the goodness of God, the greatness of God, all the wonderful things that the Lord is doing. And so um, the Lord put that upon my heart. Actually, there was a different message that... Um, I was studying for, and then um, the Lord changed it, and I'm thankful to the Lord, because if he wants me to talk about the goodness of God, that's what I want to talk about, the goodness of God. So let's go to uh, Psalm 27, 13, hallelujah, and the word says in Psalm 27, verse 13, I'm reading it from the New Living Translation. Yet I am confident that I will see the Lord's goodness while I, while I am here in the land of the living. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Hallelujah. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, where we are living on this earth. We're seeing the goodness of God every day. The word tells us that we are going to see the goodness of God. And I know that you know what I'm talking about. Well, some of you know what I'm talking about. And some of you who haven't been paying attention, pay attention. The goodness of the Lord is all around us. And we need to acknowledge that. We need to acknowledge the goodness of the Lord. How good he is. Hallelujah. When we talk about the goodness of God, we are talking about his kindness, his favor, his compassion, his mercy. Wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We have been confined to our homes for just about two months now. And we can sit in our homes and grumble. I mean, and I, I want to say that's really easy to do. But why not look at what is going on? I mean, it took this for us to spend more time with our families. It took this for us to spend more time with the Lord. It took this for us to, I know some of the men know what I'm talking about when I say to fix up the house. It took this time of being confined to our homes for us to look around us and look at the goodness around us. Amen? Our families are the goodness of the Lord in our lives. Our husbands, our wives, that's the goodness of the Lord in your life. Your children, that's the goodness of the Lord in your life. We can go outside our homes and we can look all around us and we see the beauty of God's holiness. And it's sad because before this happened, we would barely even look at the goodness of the Lord. We barely even look at the beauty of the Lord. We barely even appreciate the, the beaches that 
thank you Jesus we can go to now but now it's so packed who wants to go hallelujah <laughs> but you know it took something like this for us to realize how blessed we are and how good the Lord has been to us amen hallelujah we have more time to seek God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We have no excuse. I mean, there was never an excuse before this whole thing happened. But we have no excuse why we don't seek God more. Why we don't draw near to God more. We have more time to spend with our families, like I said. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, are you still, I mean, are you still acting like you like before this time or are you really spending time with your family or are you just doing the same old thing get up do whatever and go to sleep at a certain time you have this time you're blessed we're blessed with this time and this time is the goodness of god in and on our lives as well we have more time to take care of the things at home i know i cleaned out a couple of cabinets and you know there's some drawers that I need to clean up. But I know that I did some things that I wouldn't normally do because of the busy schedule that we all have. When you, you see, you see when you love God. We love God. So even when something seems hard to go through, like this whole situation, but when you love God, you know that all of it is going to turn around for your good. It's going to. I mean, look at how good things have been. I mean, we can sit, and I'm, I'm not saying that people are, I mean, I'm, what, I'm, what I am saying is stop grumbling and look at the goodness of God in your life. Amen? Stop grumbling. Mean, and I'm not saying it's not easy. It is easy to grumble. I mean, you can grumble about anything, but stop grumbling Stop grumbling to your husband. Stop grumbling to your wife. Stop grumbling to your parents. And look around you and see the goodness of God on you in your lives. Hallelujah. We see the goodness of God all around us. And what we need to do is stop, be quiet, and look around us. I'm thankful. My husband is the goodness of God on my life. My son is the goodness of God on my life. My family is the goodness of God on my life. My, my extended family, my church family, that's the goodness of God on my life. Amen. And if we can, if you love God and we love God, and some of you need to learn how to love God, but when you love God, you can look at all of these wonderful things and thank him and be grateful to him and realize and recognize it is the goodness of God on your life. Hallelujah. Recently, uh, we, um, our doggy, Leo, went to doggy heaven. But anyway, she was with us for 15 years. She was part of the family. I mean, 15 years, my goodness, I go back 15 years from now. Like, oh my gosh, I was much younger then. Hallelujah. And um, so many things has happened in these 15 years. Well, I know um, some of us know the testimony, but a couple of years ago she had a stroke and she pulled through that. And just about a year ago, she, we could tell that something else happened that, similar to that and, and she pulled through that. But just recently in the past, the past couple months, um, we noticed that there was a, you know, there was, there was her, her life, her, her body was slowing down. And mind you, she's just about 15 years old. So that means she's like about 100 in doggy years. And um, she was very much a part of our family. And on her last days, you know, we know she was slowing down and she was having a hard time to, you know, um, walk really good. She might have r run every now and then, but um, nonetheless, her body was slowing down. And, the last day she um, was here, um, we knew that it was hard for her because she was having a hard time to walk and she didn't want to eat anymore or anything. And that night, it was so, um, 
sad because we knew she was having a hard time. And so we just prayed. We said, Lord, you know, please just take her so she doesn't suffer. And um, after so many hours, I think it was like about six hours or so, you know, Leo passed. And, and it was such a sad time for us, but I knew that even that, I can look at that and it doesn't, you know, I'm not making light of anybody's serious um, things that they're going through, but even that, I looked at it like that was the goodness of God, that she didn't suffer. And she, you know, she left. And it was so um, sad because, you know, Pastor Rocky and I were hearing it. She started, towards the end, she started, you know, crying and and. and we knew she was in such bad pain. But when it happened, it, there was we were so thankful that God took her. We said, Lord, just please take her. If she's going to suffer like this, Lord, we just, we just please take her. And she did. She passed. And even that was the goodness of God to me. If we can look at everything that's going on around us, you know, we can always look at the bad things that happen in a bad way. Um, and to me, that's, that's kind of a bad thing, you know? But I, we looked at it from a different angle, and we seen the goodness of God, where he took her, and he put peace upon us. And even though that's just our dog, but that was, she was part of our family. So um, today, I was reminded about that, that even because I was looking all around me, I, the Lord had me to do certain things, and I was looking all around me, and, and I think, looking at all the good of God in my life. I mean, we want for nothing. Obviously, we're not starving, and a lot of us put on a little bit more weight during this time, too, but obviously, we, we have food on our table. We, we're healthy. Um, we have roofs over our, you know, we have our homes. You know, our husband, our families, our children. Um, blessing upon blessing. And I think if we can look at our lives from that point and see all the good in our lives, then we can recognize the goodness of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm 23, and it's a very familiar scripture. Amen. Psalm 23, verse 6. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will, will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever not only here but forever goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives my goodness goodness and mercy follows me all the days of my life follows you all the days of your life all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever Hallelujah. One more thing we can give God praise for. And, you know, even, even this sanctuary, and we know that we are the church. We are the church. But we know that this sanctuary is our church, is the house of God. And we're so thankful for this sanctuary and the, this house of God. And even that we didn't appreciate until we couldn't come anymore. And then now, we want to be in the house of the Lord. Oh my goodness, we really miss being in the house of the Lord. Oh my goodness, we really miss being with our church family. Oh my goodness. But it doesn't have to take something hard or bad to happen for us to really appreciate and be grateful to the Lord. Amen? Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm 145. And of course, we know throughout the word, we see the goodness of God. Hallelujah. So Psalm 145, verse 9. The Lord is good to everyone. He showers, com he showers compassion on all of his creation. So again, we're, it's confirmed that the Lord continuously shows his goodness to his people. And how are people going to know about the goodness of God? We have to talk about it. We have to share. We have to praise. We have to worship. We have to be 
loud about it, how good God is. Amen? People look at you and they see the goodness of God on your life, in your life, in your lives. What are you displaying? I mean, hopefully you're not looking like a grumpy person that doesn't know the Lord because you have a lot to give God praise for. Amen? Amen? And even hard times, and things that we have to go through, we can still look at it and see the goodness of God on every situation, on every situation, and not making light, because there are some people that are going through some very hard times right now that cannot be explained. We can ask why, and there's no answer for the question. But even in that, if you look at it really good, you will see the goodness of the Lord in every situation. Hallelujah. The Lord is good to all. To all the Lord is good. His faithfulness and his love is never ending. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for the goodness of God on my life. And I pray that when people see me, they see the goodness of God on my life. Not what I have or what I obtain, but the goodness of God in me and through me and on me. Amen? So that they can glorify Him in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some days are not easy days. Some days are kind of junky days. But even in those junky days, you need to stop, be quiet, and look around you. And you will see the goodness of God in your life. Hallelujah. Well, let's go to Psalm 103. Thank you, Lord, for the word that is good and reminds us, hallelujah, of how good the Lord is. Amen. So Psalm 103, verse 1 says, Praise the Lord. I tell myself, with my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we have to, not sometimes, all the time we have to tell ourselves, praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in Psalm 100, verse 103, throughout this whole scripture, this whole chapter, you'll see and be reminded of how good God is. When we feel like grumbling because things are not going our way, think again. Look at what David tells us in this scripture. And I wanted to, I wanted to put it down on paper because I didn't want to forget. There's so many things that God does and is doing and has done and is going to do. Hallelujah. David in this scripture tells us that he forgives our sin. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. And when the Lord forgives us, he forgets. Amen. He doesn't come back and say, remember what you did. You know, like how humans are. We need to be less human. Huh? <laughs> but you know how, I mean, I do it to Benaiah. I'll say, remember what happened last time? God doesn't do that. When he forgives us, and I think that's what Benaiah wants too. Like when he says, okay, mom, please forgive me. Mom, forgive me. Okay, Benaiah, but, but he's like, no, you know, I know he wants. Just be quiet, mom. I already asked for forgiveness. Just let it go. But, you know, I need to learn to be more that way. But, you know, a parent will re remind the child, remember what happened. God doesn't do that. When, he for when we repent, he forgives us and he doesn't remind us. Later on, what we did. He forgives and he forgets. And the word says, as far as the east is from the west, that's how far away. See, because the east can never meet the west. Right? The west will always be west and the east will always be east. They will never meet. So as far as the east is from the west, that's how far he's taken away our transgression. When we come to him... When we repent and we ask him to forgive us, he forgives us and he forgets. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know many of us can say, thank you, Lord, for forgiving us for that. Yes. Amen. 
for that wretched person that I was before I came to know you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He forgives our sin. He heals our diseases. Thank you, Jesus. He is our healer. Hallelujah. He heals our bodies. He heals our bodies. Hallelujah. You can say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for that. Thank you, Lord. That's the goodness of God on our lives. He has healed us from things we never even knew we had. And we, had, we didn't have to go through it because he healed our bodies. Like the word says in Psalm 103, he heals disease. He heals our diseases. Hallelujah. He heals our body. Hallelujah. Amen. He redeems us from death. Thank you, Jesus, for redeeming us. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming us. Hallelujah. Some of us know what I'm talking about when we said, what, if we deserved, I mean, if we got what we deserved, some of us wouldn't even be here. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming us. Hallelujah. He crowns us with love and compassion. His compassion never fails. His love never ends. And he crowns us with love and compassion. Thank you, Lord. And then that's how we are able to love and, and have compassion for others. Thank you, Lord. He fills our lives with good things. Yes, he satisfies our lives with good things. Good things. The goodness of God in our lives. He satisfies our lives. We have good things in our lives because he gives us goodness, his goodness. Thank you, Lord. He fills our lives with good things. Our youth is renewed. Hallelujah. And the word says, our youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah that the Lord renews our youth. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about, but when you, once you start getting to a little bit older age, you know what I'm talking about. And you're super thankful for that scripture. He satisfies our mouth with good things and our youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. Come on, guys. Say amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. He gives us righteousness and justice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He forgives us and forgets. And he doesn't give us what we deserve. Thank you, thank you, Lord, that he does not give us what we deserve. And if all of us can think about that right now just for a moment, thank you, Lord, because some of the things that we did, we would not even be here. Some of the things that we did, some of us would be in jail. Some of us, some of the things that we did, we would be um, in a very bad way. You know, we could not be where we are today. We could be, I mean, living on the street, not having a home. I mean, there, the list can go on and on and on, but because of his loving kindness, because of his goodness on our lives, we stand here today, we look at the goodness in our homes, we look at our, our loved ones, we look at everything that's going on around us. I mean, we, we want for nothing. And I know that some people may be wanting, but you can get to a place of not being in want as well. Because the Lord's goodness is abundant and can be abundant in your life as well. Some people... Um, may not know what I'm talking about, but see, when you're in the family of God, you do know what I'm talking about. And please, everyone, look around you and see the goodness of God, his hand upon you, his hand upon your families. And those of you who need to know the Lord and need to know what I'm talking about, it's simple. You become, you become a part of the Lord's family. You become a part of his family. And it's something very simple to do, very easy. See, because I know, some of you know what I'm talking about. It's because I'm a daughter of God. I ask Jesus to be the Lord of my life. It's hard to live in this crazy world 
without the Lord. And really, I'm, I'm amazed. I mean, I cannot even believe how people can live without the Lord. We need the Lord. People need the Lord. And um, so what I'm talking about is simply asking the Lord Jesus to come into your heart and to be the Lord of your life. Help you do everything that you need to do. And then you will experience what I'm talking about. See, even those of you who don't know the Lord yet, you can still look around and see all these wonderful things. This is the goodness of God. So today is a very blessed day. Today is a day that you can ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. And, it, you know, it's, it's not a big prayer that you have to go through. It's simply, it's just a simple prayer. Please, if you don't know the Lord, would you join me in prayer? Would you repeat after me? Father God, please forgive me for all the wrong that I have done. Jesus. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Help me to do everything that you have called me to do. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. As simple as that. If that's the first time you prayed that prayer, please call the office or contact us um, on our website. Um, if you don't have a Bible, we'd love to send, send you a Bible. If you, um, don't have, if you live on Maui and you don't have a place to worship, please come and worship us, Worship with us. Worship the Lord with us at Word of Truth Maui. You can get all that information on our website. If you desire to sow a seed or to, to give an offering, you can go to our website, wordoftruthmaui.org. Press on the green button, and you can give that way. Or uh, there are actually three ways to, to give on our website, or you can drop it off at the office, you can slip it under the door, or you can mail it, and you can get all that information on our website. We love you. We're thankful to the Lord for you. I hope you received what you needed to receive today. Hi, everybody. We love you, Word of Truth. Maui Ohana. Thank you for your support, for your faithfulness. We know that the Lord is pouring out upon you. And I know that you know what I'm talking about when we talk about the goodness of God. We love you. We give God praise for you. And we just thank you. Until next time, aloha.